Welcome to the Star Hammer Machine. Last time we talked about US situation with Pinot Gris and today we have Shadow talking about Corona again in the Dutch land. Let's go! The Dutch land. So Shadow, what's happening in Dutch land with the coronavirus? It's getting pretty bad now. Uh, oh, to still. just give you a small story that happened to me, uh, or not, not to me personally, but what happened in my very close environment. My neighbor came to me and he said, my entire family has Corona. And I'm like, really? Your entire family? Yes, his entire family. His uh, mom and dad are actually in the hospital right now. And he are now, oh, his dad is currently still in the ICU. So his both his parents were in the ICU, and his father was actually in artificial uh, coma. Uh, so does ICU stands for uh, isolated containment unit? No, no, no. For uh, in whoop, hang on a second. I need to figure that one out. Uh, intensive care oh, unit. No. I know. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, intensive care unit. So they're both in the ICU, and uh, the dad is kept in artificial uh, coma. That, that's just something you want to hear. I mean, you hear those cases that like a neighbor got corona or someone got corona when your entire family has corona. And by the way, my neighbor doesn't have corona. He's been testing himself for the past month, almost four or five times. I'm telling you, testing is not fun, and that he did it four or five Why? times. <laughs> oh, you never seen a corona test? No. No, no. they shove a uh, a swab up your nose, and they ah. rub it up and down very rigidly, very hard, so that it hurts. It's like and, a tie. Uh, uh, if you think nose... Penetration is hentai, and yes, but this is not shit talking, <laughs> this is serious talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. And it, it, the situation with his dad is still the same. You couldn't say it's stable, but yeah, it's still, still ongoing. And his mom just got released out of the ICU and is back to the normal um, hospital areas. But she fell down yesterday, and now she's being again being submitted for other problems in the hospital. And she's currently on the uh, cardiac, uh, cardiac monitoring. Like, ah, the heart checking her monitoring. heart. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he is really not happy. And you can clearly see this is in quite a lot of stress. But in terms of other things, um, Corona, we have the new, the, the novel Corona for a version. Uh, going around now, the one I that we import from the UK. Mm, yeah, there are a few cases in Europe now as well, in the mainland. And yeah, Should we are worried okay. about that. It's spreading faster than a normal version, so those are not good things to have. Um, And the good thing though, uh, the vaccination uh, has started, and the first people are vaccinated actually today. So that's oh, a good thing. Mm -hmm. Do you mean individual yep. or? Um, no, like a vaccination of all the uh, medical personnel. So all doctors oh, we, and nurses. We, we, started, and, and... we started that a month ago. Month ago. A month ago, yeah. A medical well, personnel, we... yes. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, they started all this week. two weeks ago, I think. I think it was two weeks ago because there wasn't a medicine for me to go. Yeah, yeah, the, the... or a vaccine. But, but the vaccine is a pain in the ass because you need to keep it at minus seventy degrees Celsius. So a lot of people said, "Why do we not vaccinate the elderly first? And I'm like, "Really cool, but if you want to vaccinate the elderly, then that means they need to come out of their houses to the hospital and then get vaccinated over there enough. I think this vaccination is a two-step process, so you need to come back 10 days later for another one. 
So that means you're asking vulnerable people to go out into a vulnerable situation. So yeah, and the medical personnel is already at the hospital where the vaccination is stored at minus 70. So yeah, I think that's actually a good call, in my opinion. In Italy, we had a pharmacist who sabotaged the vaccine they were selling because he was a neg ne negationist. Like he was, he didn't believe in the virus, so he sabotaged the vaccine and sold it to the public. Uh, what an idiot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he's being arrested. Yeah, but I've I've heard a story about uh, people in the Netherlands saying like, "Oh, it's a hoax, and the virus is not real," and then they made a video and they showed it on Dutch television. And the, the southern part of the Netherlands got hit really hard, and they just posed the question: "Is it is the virus real or not?" And then they just showed a lot of like fifteen, sixteen year old kids that say like, "If the virus is not real, then where are my grandparents?" Mm. And that one hit really hard home. So since then, the yeah. demonstrations and mockery of coronavirus has been a little bit more on the downside. There's still plenty of idiots, though, sadly. Not a good thing. Thank you, Shairu, for your feedback. No, sorry, for your opinion. And... I actually learned today that an important lesson Dutchland has the same issue as Italy Thank you everyone See you in the next episode Let's talk about gender issue in America Go! It's kind of a picky the gender issue in America Maybe I'll... Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video!